Hi friends. In this video, I am going to introduce your tool name is called bitly.com. The purpose to use this particular site to convert any kind of URL into a shortened form. See, generally in the case of our Google Forms, while sending to the participant to register, we may send as a very big URL. The problem with the, the big URL, suppose if some single character is missing in the Google Forms, the people may not be able to connect with this. Just I'm going to open a Google Form C. Once you go to the Google Forms, this is my Google Form. In this Google Form, if you like to find our URL ID, then we can click this send. In the send, we can find out the options called link options. Once you click here, you can find out a very big URL. This is a URL consists of the alphanumeric character. Suppose in a single character is missing in this link, we could, the participant or even we could not be able to reach this particular site. This is a bigger challenge in this case. That is why they given one shortened URL option in the case of Google Forms. Even if you go to the shortened URL also, this is also separate link you may find. So it's like a small URL. The problem here, this URL also some kind of alphanumeric characteristics. Even in this a single letter is missing, we cannot reach the sites. So due to the reasons, we have to use this kind of sites to convert any kind of URL into user-friendly URL and the URL also is very shortened. That is also is a great uh, opportunity for our, all of us to convert any kind of URL into very small one, but that is very much customizable that's also permissible for us so first what you have to do first you have to create an account as a first time user you can go to the sign up for free once you click the sign up for free you are finding this kind of options so they provide both the free version as well as the paid versions in the free versions we have this much of opportunity or options they provide us up to thousand link per month unlimited clicks and customized backholds so a lot of options they provide even the two-step verification authentication also there suppose you like to go with the payment option they're given some kind of tariff also just if you like you can explore these things but I, my recommendation you can use a free because i'm using more than two years with ease of free so i didn't find any difficulty in this Suppose you like to create an account, click the get started. Good things about this tool, they are given you good options to incorporate or we can access this particular website through our Gmail credential. So suppose you like to create an account through the Google, just you can sign up with the Google, that option, option also available. But I am already having the login credential, that is why I am going back and uh, instead of going to the sign up, I am just to log in here. Once I click the login, we can find this kind of interface there I'm going to connect my account through the Google so due to the reason I'm clicking the Google here I'm selecting my credential so once I click the credential of my username and password it automatically goes to my home page of my bit.ly website now you can see this website is very much user friendly and uh, even the layman can uh, understood how to use this tool because that much of user interface and see in the left corner you was finding the lot of options like because I'm already convert lot of URL that URL only you are finding here. For example, e workshop come round table conference. There's a toll member. There's my URL ID. And parallel you are seeing the e workshop round table discussion. So this is a link used by 1300 toll members. So it seems that 1300 toll participants or persons they are uh, click this particular link and from this they restart that particular program. So like this we can easy to find some kind of data analytics uh, directly from the website itself now i like to create a one shortened url so that shortened url where i found uh, how we can do in the sense first i like to go to my google forms so as all of you knows how to find the url here i can go to the send and click the link so there is a very big link that's why i'm clicking the short url even you can convert the big one or the shortened url you can customize into different from that up to us only but here i'm selecting the shortened url already some shortened url i am copying here but the shortened url is not that much of user friendly now what i'm going to do that copied user url directly from the google forms i am going to paste into my bitly websites so for this i am using the option called create once i click the create options I can find this option called enter log URL. Just I'm going to paste this link. Once I paste this link uh, in the enter long URL, now I find the option called create. Even there is a 
down there is some kind of options it is option only you don't need to feel like a source medium and campaign it's not that uh, um, it's not compulsory it's only option if you knows this data you can type otherwise just to type the url id and just to click the create once you click the create automatically there is a separate url it might comes here now you can see this is my website uh, the customized uh, shortened url so bit dot ly slash 3 z o z t s s even i like to customize this uh, tool also this link also for this just i'm going to change here i like to give the name uh, tia registration so tia here i did some kind of small modifications in the case of uh, url the previous url then after changing the customization just i click the save button so once i click the save button automatically the url may save here so now you can see there is a url now i modify or i customize the url which is default is created by the, the bitly websites after this once you click save automatically may save here so after the save what i'm going to do if you comes here you can find out that link which i customize now now you can see the link which i now convert as a shortened url bit dot l y t a g u t a registrations if you like to copy if you like to share someone if you like to edit further i can go with this suppose i like to share this one i can go to the share in the share they given the options like we can easy to share as a twitter account that's also permissible otherwise just to copy this url id so we can copy this so just you can click here automatically it goes to this site so now uh, once you click this link it moves to the the google forms link so this is a way we have to reach the sites so this is a link hereafter if you like to share anyone just you can copy this link so just i'm copying this link we have to share this link to the participants just i like to paste now you can see there is a link bit dot ly registration so hereafter we have to share this link only so this is a manner that people may connect with us now you can see just i can paste this link um, bit.ly.ly dot the registrations after the just click enter it directly move to the the google form so there the participants may fill these details so when the participant fill these details so automatically uh, the count uh, it may capture in the bitly website itself so here we can be able to know that how many people are click now you can see there is a one person can click so every every things we can find it from the the data and i'll log out we have to go to the right corner so you can find the option called log out once you click log out automatically you can come out from the uh, websites this is the way we have to use it so thank you so much to watching it bye